everyone, you so much. Welcome to today's tutorial, and I still remain Odurole Mojibola. Today, I'm going to be teaching us how I created this beautiful, fancy, like a mini bag, I can call it. If you want to call it a purse, fine. Actually, this mini purse. Now, I'm going to be showing us how you can actually do this without stitching it. It's so amazing you can do this without stitching. I'm sure you want to see how this is going to be achieved. Sit back. I am going to be right back. Now, for our fancy bag handle, I'm going to be making use of this Marco. Marco, I'm actually using Marco. It's also known as Ever Foam. So I'm going to be using it as my handle. Now you can decide to actually use a hose. If you don't have an hose, you can actually do use this. So I'm just improvising with this. There's a particular round hose that is used for actually this kind of handle. But you can use this as well. So I want the my handle, I want it to be about 11.5 to 12 inches long. So what I did was I actually used 11.5 inch long and the width is 1.5 inch. 11.5 inch long and then the width is 1.5 inch now for this particular one i increased the length to about 13.5 i increased the length because i want to have excess by the side by the time i put this inside this so what i'm going to do now is i extend it like i said to 13.5 you can use 13 you can use 13.5 now for the width i use 2.5 because i want to have excess at the two sides so what do i do first now that i have cut out my my macro or ever foam is also called ever foam eva foam you can search and then um, purchase it with that particular name but in nigeria we call it macro so i'm going to first of all use my sanding tool which is actually some paper i want it to adhere properly so that's the essence of actually roughening the surface so after this i am going to apply gum on this side and I'm going to apply gum on this side as well. So like I said, I'm going to be applying my adhesive. It's actually the contact, the general purpose contact adhesive. I told us that our, our fancy pores does not have, we are not going to be sewing it. So it's going to be majorly, we are going to be using glue. So for this now, I am going to actually allow to dry. Then I'm going to place it at the center of this particular leather. Don't forget, this is the leather we are going we are using for the handle. So now you can see this is dry. It's dry. So what I did after placing it, because what I actually did is the side I applied the gum is the side I place on this. So I reapply the gum on the surface. So after you have reapplied the gum, the next thing is to try to fold it together. So I am going to try as much as possible to ensure that these two end joints together while I am actually closing it up. So let's go. You have to be sure they are actually matching themselves. Now, if you want to, you can decide to first of all, hold this together before you actually place it on this. It's all your choice. But I'm just going to carefully fold it together. So now you can see what our final handle looks like. All I'm going to do now is just to trim the side. I'm going to trim it inward a little bit because I don't really want as much as this as the excess by the side. So you just take your time, trim them off. Then you can decide to use edge coat to actually cover it up. Now, 
if you missed my three weeks intensive training, you might have missed out on how to actually prepare an edge coat yourself. I taught them how to actually prepare an edge coat in that class. It's actually like a bonus course in the class. And if you are still part of the class, relax. I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. If you want to join, you are still you can still join. Today is day eight, if I am correct, day eight or nine. So we still have some few days left. You can join us in the class. So we are through with our handle. So I'm just going to coat the edge and I'm going to move to inserting it right away. All right, now that we have cut out every of our pattern for our fancy pores, we are going to go ahead and line it. Now, I'm actually using a synthetic leather. As you can see, it's a false leather, but as a glossy look. So I'm going to be lining it with another synthetic leather as well. Feel free to use whatever leather you have around you or suitable for this particular post. You can actually use leather, you can use fabric. Although if you're going to be using fabric, you are not going to be using the same process. So this process can only work for leather and not for fabric. So i'm going to go ahead and line this and this is what i am going to do for all of them except for the flap and then the front side of our fancy paws i'm going to be showing us what will happen to those ones so one of this and then the flap, you know, we are going to be having a flap on top. I'm not going to do anything with this because I'm going to be attaching my snaps on them. So I wouldn't be doing anything to them. And don't forget our handle is still going to be inserted here. So we have to insert those ones first before we go ahead and line it. So that's going to be exempted. But every other one, our gusset, we are going to actually make sure that we line it as well as the base of the fancy paws. So all you need to do is just place them on your leather, whatever kind of leather you want to use to line it. Like I said, you cannot use this process for fabric. So I'm just going to place, I'm going to place it right there, then outline all of them and use my contact adhesive to actually hold them together so so now i've already i'm um, applied my contact adhesive i'm just going to go ahead you can see i attach on both the upper leather and also on the lining because i don't intend to sew it like i told us in the introduction no sewing all we're going to do is we're going to be using our glue and i'm sure you're going to love what your fancy bag look like don't forget to make sure that it's dry before you go ahead and then place it on your lining so place carefully If it's not dry, allow to dry, please, because we are not going to be stitching it. So these are just the three parts of our fancy paws that we are going to be lining first. So we'll now go to the flap and to the front part of our fancy paws. So what I'm going to do now is just Pick up my scissors and just trim this out and that's all for this part of our fancy pulse.
So now that we have actually lined all the parts that need to be lined, let's quickly go to the flap. Now, I need you to understand that for the flap, I already have all the openings on the pattern. Like I said, we're going to be using this kind, this particular pattern like we have started with. So these points are already there. All you need to do is just to go ahead and place your your pattern on it and then go ahead and use i will still try to explain to us how we can access the pattern so i'm just going to go ahead and punch those sides and then open it for us to be able to insert our handle so you have to make sure you insert your handle first before you go ahead and cover this particular one now i have already punched i am just going to go ahead and use my seam ripper you can use your utility knife as well but i found my seam ripper very perfectly okay perfectly perfectly okay so just go ahead and use it to open it up now i've opened it i'm going to be inserting the strap now this side of my strap is going to be facing this side it's not going to be the side you'll be seeing so i prefer it this way i'm going to now insert it here try to just insert gently please yeah so insert it make sure it goes in perfectly well don't forget that where the ever foam where it stops that's where it will really stay on this particular part of the flap so i'm so going to insert this so if the opening seems small you can decide to open it more but it's always better if it's very tight so that your handle does not begin to shake like a shake shake mommy so you can see this so i'm just going to go ahead and use my glue to hold this down then we'll move forward to our snap so for the snap you can use different kind of snap it depends on what is available around you like i said earlier we are going to actually be using our glue now this time around i'm going to be using my shoe glue for this particular a part of my fancy purse now i'm just you can actually do this in different ways you can decide to open this side up and try to cut it so that you can actually put the flap all over and you can decide to do this it depends on you cutting it will not make this side to be bulky and then um, by the time you do this this tends to be a bit bulky but for me i think it's even it's still perfectly okay to actually do it that way it's not going to be really much of a bulk on that particular side so i'm going to be using this to hold it down right here so just apply a little and then so i'm just going to ensure that it's well positioned on the two side now considering the outer part you can see what it now looks like so i'm just going to try to open it up this way so now let's go to our snap i said it that we can use different kind of snap now this is a kind of um you know a kind of hook that you can actually use to hold the flap and the body together you can also use this you can actually use this magnetic snap as well so it's not limited in any way but for this particular project i'm going to be showing us how to use this magnetic snap because i find out that this is always almost every time available for us to use so i'm going to be using this particular one for my magnetic snap what i'm going to do is i am going to actually duplicate my pattern on the lining now you can see i've done that right here which is what i have here now i need to you have to locate the center all of that are actually in the pattern so you don't have anything to worry about so we have the center right here i measured one um zero point sorry i measured 2.5 centimeter which is about one inch from this side to this side to place my snap so i'm just going to go ahead i will use this i'm going to place this don't forget that i'm going to place it right this way i hope you can see this so i'm going to place it right here mark this and mark this side as well so i will just use my utility uh, my seam ripper you can use your utility knife 
just to open it up a little bit so it will easily go in open it up just a little do the same thing here just a little then you come to this side and then insert you can see it didn't really open properly so i might have to do that properly right here so i'm going to put it inside this way then i'm going to place this on top of it so you can see what i have so you just try as you can let it go this way you can let it go this way then i might a little bit you can decide to place on themselves it depends on you so this side now what we are going to do i'm going to apply gum all over this i need us to see this i'm going to apply my contact adhesive again on the two sides and then i'm going to position this right on it so that by the time i'm through can you see where one the, where the first part of my snap is it will go to the other body of my fancy paw so i'm just going to go ahead and apply my contact adhesive right away on this particular lining as well as on the main leather i'm using for my fancy purse so now i have already you can see i've done that so i'm just going to be placing it on it right away so carefully you're going to do that carefully 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 do that so it's going to be a careful one you can see the way i'm trying to pull this so that it can lay perfectly well I'm going to do that on this same side so that I can lay perfectly well. So I need it to lay very well. So you can see what I have is right inside here. So this is the way our pulse is going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we have actually done a very good job here. Let's go to the body of our pest. So considering the second, the body of the, of the, of our, of our frenzy pulse, we are going to be placing the second part of our magnetic snap on it before we finally line it. So all of the placements are actually on the pattern booklet for this particular fancy purse. So we have a pattern booklet that we're going to be using, which is what I am using here. So all we need to do is to just position it. Now that I've positioned Go ahead it, and place this. On top of that center ensure it's actually at the center where you actually marked from the pattern so you can see what I have I'm going to go ahead again and use my seam ripper to open it up now don't forget you don't necessarily have to use a seam ripper you can use your utility knife or any form of sharp carving knife that you have to create the opening I need to adjust this Now it seems this side is not properly open, so I'm going to try to work on that, ensuring I do not over open it. So you can see it's right in this way. I'm going to pick up my washer and then. Um, so I need you to know that our magnetic snap comes in a set of four, two of this round one and then one of these and then one of these so it comes in a set of four next i'm going to go ahead and just line this like i lined every other one apply my gum on this apply my contact adhesive as well on the lining and then we are good to go so now let's quickly go into coupling our fancy purse the first thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be attaching the gusset to the base and this is the process i told us we are not going to be stitching now if you want to stitch please do follow the same process as i am going to actually use in this particular video now i'm going to place my wrong side and my wrong side on themselves like this for the first gusset so i am going to adjust it upward ensuring that it is rightly positioned here you can see the extensions are out so i'm going to position it that way now at this point 
if you are stitching, you are going to be stitching from this edge to this particular edge. So you are stitching just this side. It means this will be open and the side will be open. Now, for me, I'm going to be using my shoe glue. Trust me, it's going to stay perfectly well. Now, I am going to pick up this and then apply my glue here. Not too much so that it doesn't... You can see? So I'm going to strategically bring it here and position it. Yes. It has to be strategically positioned in such, way, in such a way that it does not hold this side down. It must not hold the side down. The same thing on this side, ensure it doesn't hold it down. You can see this is open and this side too is open. All we want to hold down is just this edge. So you can see what I'm trying to do. It's just going to hold down this part this way upright. So this side still remains open and we are through with that side. We are going to go to the other side. Don't forget if you are stitching, ensure that you stitch the same way. I'm going to also apply again. So if you have been enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and also press the notification bell so that each time I upload a video, you will be notified. So we are just going to go ahead and place this as well. Make sure it's staying at the edge. So position it, make sure it doesn't exceed. It doesn't move to the other side as well. So that's very important and it doesn't hold down the whole, you know, gussets. It's just that small part. So if you are stitching, you can stitch. I'm sure some of us are already thinking, won't this open up? It won't. It's actually a very small purse. So if you are making your own a bigger one, you can definitely go ahead and do that. So I'm sure some of us are already considering how do I assess this particular PDF pattern for this fancy post. Now you can see we are already ready with our base and our gusset. You can see what we have now. We're just going to, I'm going to go ahead and place the back part of the body right away. So now let's go on to this particular body, the back part. Now what do I do now? Don't forget that our, our, our fancy post is going to be standing this way. And this is going to be right here by the side, right here. It's going to be standing right here by the side. So that is what you are going to do. You are going to pick it up the side. This is the side of our body. You can see it. This place is not as wide as this one. So this is going to be the lower part. And this is the upper part of the body. So it means it's standing this way. Now, I'm going to pick it up one side of it. I am going to be attaching it. To this particular side of my gusset please I need you to see can you see the side I'm attaching it to so I'm going to go ahead right now and then begin to apply my glue bit by bit I am NOT going to be in a hurry I need you to know you don't have to be in a hurry you can see I'm just applying it faintly and not much so I'm going to go ahead and then Position it properly here. I'm going to be positioning it here. Position it here. Position it here. If you are stitching, like I said, follow the same process. So I'm going down this way. So you have to be careful. Don't forget that. This still remains the base. This is the base. So we are attaching it to the gusset. So as we are going, we are still moving gently. 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 You can see I'm still moving gently. Now I am now at the base. Please, I need you to follow me. See this. So the next thing we are going to be doing is place it this way. Now, this is your base. Don't forget I was coming from up here. I was coming right from here and I was going down. I need you to understand it. this you can see this is a side so I'm going to ensure that I fill this up so let me apply this and then conclude that part so 
So you can see what I have. I've con concluded that part. Now, for the continuity of what I'm doing, now see this. You can see that this side is opening. I'm still going to make sure I hold it back together. It's not a crime for it to open. Please note. So this is the base. Don't forget, this still remains our base. I've already finished with the side. I'm now coming back to the base. You can see this is a bit opening from the side, which is the first side we opened. Don't worry, we are going to get back to that. So what I need to do, if you are stitching, of course, there won't be such kind of opening. But nevertheless, we can still go back to hold it together. So you can see what I have. I'm true with this side. So the base now, you will pick it up and align it with that particular side just for it to hold it down. You can see what it looks like. So I am going to just go ahead and use my glue. If you are stitching, like I said, follow the same process. So I am going to go ahead and place this right beside it here. Add some little glue just to hold that place together the same way you want it to look like. You can see what I'm having right at the side here. Please don't forget, I started with the side. Now I came to the base to fix that side up. Of course, I noticed the opening here. If it was stitching, it will not be showing. Don't forget, we just stitch from side to side here. We did not include the side. So you can see what I have here. Now that is staying. So I am now going to continue the process with the base now. The, 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 body, the, the, the lower part of my body so i'm going to just try to open up and then begin to apply from here please make sure it's not much so that it doesn't hold more than you need so just go If we find out that it will be holding it down. We are still moving. Don't forget, we are still moving. So let me add more. Now, if you need to watch this over and over, I beg you to please do that just for you to be able to understand the process. But trust me, as soon as you get the process, you can produce you can produce a lot of this in a day yes i mean it even with the available pattern all you need to just do is go ahead place your pattern and begin now you can see that for this base i've fixed the base down you can see this is the lower part of our personal so you can see i've fixed the side now i'm still having this here i am going to align it like i did to the other side and position it here as well don't forget this one has been held down so we are going to be having this here can you see can you see can you see so let's do that gently i'm going to go ahead and then um, add some glue on this side i'm going to add glue on this side so i'll be able to align it so just go ahead place it gently sure that it's well placed so for this one that's a bit opening here we still have our chance to definitely fix it up hold it down with the glue i need you to see what this look like inside you can see what i'm having here don't forget i'm still coming back to this side to finish this side up now i need us to see this you can see what it looks like i started from this i went down went this way and then this way so you can see this is still open and we are still coming back to the side so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be applying my my glue the shoe glue again on this side please be careful your hand the shoe glue you have to be careful so that you don't glue or bond your fingers so i'm just going to do this gently come here just to ensure it's well aligned and then you can finish the whole side up so can see what I have here. So I this side, if you notice, is still opening. You can just add 
I mean all this side if you notice an opening you can just add just a little of this trust me it will hold it down properly for you so if you do not get it why I am actually doing this side I'm still going to repeat the same process for this side and you'll be able to see how that is it's actually a very long video and I'm just trying to take my time to ensure you get this now if you look at inside this I don't know if you can if you notice an opening I can see an opening so all you need to do is go in right there just a drop of your glue will do the major work for you so come back and hold it down again because that place slightly opened now I'm sure you are not thinking that this will actually open it will not the, the shoe glue is a very perfect one for this kind of um, um, fancy purse, especially if you don't want to sew. And it's really looking very lovely. By the time we are through with it, you will see how lovely it looks. So now the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be positioning this back. Now, the flap is meant to be on top of this. You understand? So we are going to be positioning it right away. So now i like i said we are going to be positioning this at the back right here our pattern already has all the positioning so all you need to do is just to go ahead and use it to know where to position it right here so you just leave within the space so this is just the space that we're there so i'm just going to go ahead and use that for my positioning so you can decide to place it and mark wherever it's supposed to be like i have here now i can decide to just mark it inwards not outside so that it doesn't cover up anything so i'll do the same thing on this side as well so when i'm placing it i can follow that particular mark so as you can see so I'm just still going to use my glue one more time to hold this down. So every one of them are going to actually stay perfectly well. So you can hold this first, hold this side first with your glue. Then you come right to the other side and do the same so that you can now finish the remaining part of it. So, I've held it down. I'm just going to go ahead and then So, holding this down makes it easy for me to navigate this end. So, if you want to stitch, do follow the same process and you're going to still achieve that same result. Now you can see what I'm having. This is coming to the front part. Don't forget it's coming to the front so you can see what it looks like here. So that's that and let's go to the final part which is this front part. So now to the front part which is this particular side. Let me open it up for us to see. I'm going to be starting from this place this time around. I'm going to be starting from here and then I'm going to be navigating it downward. So, as usual, let's add our glue to the edges. can see what I have here so we are going to continue the same way you can see the way it is the same way we position this one I'm going to align this here 
and then go downwards this way. So we're going to be having this. So you can see that we are beginning to position it gently. And this time around, we are still going to position this right ear as usual. So this is going to be here, just as usual. So all you need to do is put some glue here so that it can rightly position this appropriately. And finally, we are going to be having this aligned here. So we are still coming back to this side that seems to be opening. You are going to just add some more, some more glue just to hold them down. Be careful so that the glue doesn't hold down your hand. So you can see we are having a good and perfect one there. So the next thing is just to apply on this side and we are good to go. Now I need us to understand that one of the reasons, I'm sure so many of us must have seen this in my thumbnail or my status at one point or the other. I decide not to teach us how to create it then because I wanted to be sure how durable using this to hold this fancy purse together will be. So now that I have checked, I am so certain that you can enjoy this without sewing. It's actually a major thing without sewing. You can achieve this perfectly well without stitching it. So we are not stitching anything here at all so we are not stitching anything you can see what our first look like what our fancy pulse without sewing look like you can see what the inner part look like so let me cover it for us to see so you can see how lovely this is you can see how lovely it is it's so beautiful so all the side so 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 beautiful you can see how it look like now considering the side see what the side looks like see what the side looks like so if you are going to stitch you can follow the same process now for all of this other side i'm just going to go ahead and then smoothing them properly using my sandpaper or whatever grinding tool is available just to do the edges then i'm going to go ahead and coat the edges i told us earlier that i prepared my edge coat myself so if you want to be part of that if you want to enjoy that opportunity too my three weeks intensive training still on i'm going to be teaching them actually is a bonus course in that particular class so if you are just in the class or you are in the class already you don't have anything to worry about because i'm still going to teach you and if you have actually partake of the class i'm sure you know it's part of the courses there now if you want to assess the the pattern for this particular fancy bag without sew, I will put the link to how to get it 
in the description under this video i'll also put it on the comment section just click and then order for your own if you want to enjoy this all you need to do is just follow this video and use it to create your own so, thank you so much for being part of today's tutorial please ensure you don't leave this particular video without liking and sharing to others for them to enjoy i'm sure you can see it's so lovely nothing to sew nothing 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 to sew the only finishing point is just all the edges and we are going to, we are good to go so as you can see this is the one i've already finished the edges i use a totally different um, snap here just because i am considering availability i got this on aliexpress so you can actually use another kind if you don't want to use this but for me i still believe that if it's accessible why not if not so thank you so much for being part of today's tutorial and i am going to see you next time bye